We are so excited that you have chosen to live with us at Trimark this year. One of the great things about living at a Trimark property is our online tenant web access, which allows you to view account balances, payments received, and charges 24 hours a day from the convenience of your own home or mobile device. In this video, we will give you a quick walkthrough and tips on how to use the program. Once you click on the link and go to the main page, the link to sign up and set up your account will be located under the blue login button. You will be prompted to create an account by entering your account number, email address, and lease ID that we sent to you. You can find your account number and lease ID in the move-in email which you received in late June or early July. The account number and lease ID are provided in that email in red. When you click the sign up button to create your account, an authorization email will immediately be sent to your email address. You must click that link within 15 minutes or your account will be locked, so be sure to go to your email immediately after pressing the sign up button. You will then be prompted to create a user password. Paying the full amount that is due on the tenant web access will greatly speed up your check-in time on move-in day. You and your roommates each have your own individual login account, so only you can see your own saved payment information. This is super important. If you are on a joint lease, the web portal automatically pulls the name of the first person on the lease, so you will only see one resident name at the top of your screen when you log in. Don't be alarmed if you see one of your roommate's names and not your own. You and your roommates each have your own individual login information, so only you can see your own saved payment information. It is also important to note that if you are on a joint lease, you will receive an email alert anytime someone who is also on your lease makes changes to their own saved payment information. You shouldn't worry as this notification is referring to one of your roommates' saved payment information on their individual login account. And again, this information is private only to the person with their individual login. To make a payment through your Tenant Web Access account, click on the Charges tab on the menu of your home screen. This will show all of your open charges. Keep in mind that the TWA system automatically applies payments to the oldest charge. Then click Make Payment. The next screen will break down your balance. Enter the amount you wish to pay in the Amount box and select the type of payment, credit card or bank account. Then enter your payment information. This is also super important. In the memo line, please input the last name of the resident the payment is for. Note that the charges page only shows open charges. If you would like to see a list of all of your transactions, including charges and payments, click the Transactions tab in the header menu at the top left of the home screen. To see all of your transactions, set the from date back a few years prior to your first payment. This will show all of the payments and charges paid on your account. Keep in mind that the next rent payment is due September 1st. You can set up automatic billing through your Tenant Web Access Portal account simply by clicking the Settings button, which looks like a cogwheel, in the top right corner of the home screen. From there, you will click Payment Settings, Saved Payment Info, and Auto Pay, and then add your payment information. This information is stored on your account and only you have access to it. When you are setting up your automatic payments, be sure to click the two boxes on the right-hand side. If both boxes are not checked, AutoPay will not be active. If you are on a joint lease and wish to set up AutoPay, you can choose to pay a specific amount each month instead of paying for the entire balance due. If you lived with us last year or transferred to another Trimark property, you will need to re-sign up for a TWA account since your lease ID will be different from the one from the previous year. Just like the year before, you will receive an email inviting you to set up an account on TWA. This email will contain a new lease ID and new account number. Follow the link in this email to the TWA login portal. Once at the login portal, click the sign up button. Again, it is important to note that after you click the sign up link, you'll receive a confirmation email which contains a link that must be clicked within 15 minutes or your account will be locked. Enter your new account number and new lease ID. You can still use the same email address as the one associated with your previous account. If you put in the same email address as last year, the TWA system will inform you that the email address is currently in use and will ask you if you would like to link your accounts. Enter yes and then re-enter your information. Once you have created your new account, you will have multiple accounts in the TWA system. To view the different accounts, click the drop-down menu with a name on the top right side of the screen. If you are on a joint lease, remember that this menu may show another signer's name on your lease instead of your own name. Always check to make sure that you are in the correct account before making a payment to avoid the payment posting to the wrong account. 